Hey everybody, this is Richard Gibbons, CEO of Bluegrass Realtors and Imagine MLS. And today I'm going to be going through and showing you a sneak peek of the new Ad Edit module uh, where you add listings in Flex MLS that's going to be launching in September uh, for us within Flex MLS. So to get there is the same thing you're used to before. If you have ad listing up at the top of the screen, you'll click on it there. Otherwise, you're going to go over here under menu and then click on add listing. Uh, this is this is one of the first places that's different right off the bat. You're going to have this pop up. You'll choose which property type you want there and then hit select and next. Now, I want to point out a couple just kind of high level things here. Um, first off, you're going to notice that the navigation is a little different. Previously, you had the tabs across the top. You had address, you had main fields, you had details, you had broker distribution, all those things were across the top. Now, all the navigation has been moved over here, over here to the left side. Um, so you'll see over there where you have like general listing info, address, property location, tax and legal. And it's been moved over to that left side to make this much more mobile friendly. So one very exciting piece about this ad, ad, ad edit module is it is fully mobile capable. Anything that has a browser, you can add a listing from it. So you're going to be your phone, a tablet, uh, a laptop, a desktop. I even joke that if somebody's still walking around with an old Palm Pilot, as long as it has an internet browser, you should, you'll, you, you should be able to actually add a listing. The other part that's really exciting about this is uh, photos are all in the same place. You know how in the current system, if you want the photos to be active in a listing when it goes live, you have to like save the listing, go to incomplete, go to change listing, upload the photos, go back into the listing, and then click add listing. Don't have to do all that anymore. It's all right here on one screen. You just scroll down here to the bottom on the left side. You can click on photos and do it right there. But I'll come back to that more in a second. The other thing you're going to notice is that, you know, because you don't have that main fields and details, everything is a lot more combined now. So like just one example to kind of pop down for you uh, before we go back up to the top, like showing instructions where you would usually type it in one place and then you have your check boxes for showing requirements in a different place. Now it's going to be all together for you. Um, so from there, let me just kind of get back up to the top here and I'm just going to kind of go down the list and show you a couple things. I do want to point out that this is not the final product. Um, it's pretty close to the final product, but there's going to be a couple places here and there where there's still some changes coming. Uh, so don't, don't really lean on that too much. Um, if you see something wrong, you can still tell us and the answer might be we know we're working on it. But um, if, 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 if not, we're still happy to have the feedback either way. Uh, I'd rather get the feedback and then have to tell you that than to not receive the feedback. So please let us know. Uh, let us know what you think. So right off the bat, I, I, I want to point out like we have this comp sale here. This field is likely going to be hidden, but it does give me the opportunity to actually talk to you about the fact that we have this new thing called ad comp listing. So if you're adding a, com a, co a comparable listing, maybe it was a FISBO, maybe it wasn't an arm's length transaction, uh, maybe there's some other reason it didn't go into active, something like that. Uh, you can use that ad comp listing instead. And then it's going to have a lot of the same fields, but things like, like showing information won't be on there because it doesn't apply, right? Um, and then those listings also just go straight into sold as well. So we have that different section for you there for those comp listings. So if you want to add those, use ad comp listing instead. Otherwise, it's a lot of what you're used to on this where you have your drop downs and you just choose what you want. Uh, but this is an interesting new one, this Google address search. Just uh, So what this does is it helps you fill out the address in a very consistent manner. So if you come in here, and I'll just do like one, two, three, and I'll choose this one, two, three, one, man of war place right here. If you click on that, it's going to actually fill out a lot of this for you down here under the, under the street. So what that'll do is it's going to give us a lot more consistent naming, which will make your life easier on the on the search side, you know, the more people use that address search, the more consistent will be. So, you know, go search for Man of War right now, and you might have some of them like this, and you might have some that's like Man-O-War. Some of them might just be Man of War, all one word, no spaces. Like, there's a lot of different ways you might see that. But as people use the Google address more, it's going to be a lot more consistent for searching as well. And you'll see that fills out your street number, street name, street suffix, county, city, state, and zip code for you. You just have to come here and do the do the the area, although we're working on getting that to auto pop for you as well. Once you're done there, you're going to come down here to property location. And you're just going to click on the map this location. 
Just like you're used to, it shows you the pin. You make sure the pin is correct and you click on use this location. If it's not correct, you just drag, click on the map, click and drag, move it to the right spot, and then click on use this location. Um, you know, tax and legal. So this is where you have a lot of, you know, your subdivision name, parcel, that, that you have your, uh, your, your school districts, uh, your elementary, middle, junior school, uh, high school, things like that are all in that section. And then this is where you get your first good example of where we're kind of combining what used to be main fields and what used to be detail fields. So, you know, uh, you have things like your listing contract date, expiration date, and list price, but then right below that, now you have your listing terms, special listing conditions, and possession. Uh, so this is, this is just the first example of places where we're combining these things together in a way that makes sense instead of one tab being typing places and drop down places and one tab being check boxes. They're combined in a way that makes sense for you as you're entering the listing. Uh, we, we talked about showings already. Uh, I'll point out this showing considerations field. There's another video that talks about like the seven most, most uh, exciting new fields. Uh, you can go check that out for some more information on that. But one of the things I wanted to show you is that the page is also kind of dynamic. And, and we have some of this in the current field, but you see a lot more of it in the new one. We're like association. This is like an HOA. If you hit yes, you're going to see that now there's more things you have to fill out. Now you got to say, say, is it a mandatory HOA? Is there an association fee? What's the frequency of that association fee? Um, what, what things are included in that association fee? Uh, but you'll notice that if you hit no, those options aren't there. So that, that way it keeps the, the form a lot shorter for you. Um, so a lot of these, it, it, it stays... Com uh, um, uh, collapsed unless you hit yes so that way we don't have this super long form for you to have to scroll through but same thing here with amenity fee you know yes you're going to have more options uh, no the options go away uh, community features is in there as well uh, interior so this is where you have things like your bedrooms bathrooms square footage all that kind of information one thing I want to point out that did get removed here is we had like that number of other rooms um, that was something that didn't really work out like we were all expecting it to and ended up causing a lot more headache, especially with the new setup. So we actually did remove that. I'll show you what we're doing with rooms instead a little bit later, and I think it's going to work for everybody. Um, but so here you have your total, full, half, things like that. Um, I will say when you have this non-compliant total square footage, we actually added a note here that if you do that, it is really helpful to appraisers to actually add comments in the private remarks specifying where it's not compliant. Um, and previously that would have been a tall ask because your private remarks was only, I think, 400 characters. Uh, but now you have up to 4,000 so those private remarks, not you have 4,000 characters there, is a good place to put information like that about non-compliant square foot. Or if you have other things that you want to disclose or talk about for appraisers or other realtors, that'll be a really good place for that. Probably still recommend putting your showing and showing, showing information and instructions up front, um, but you have a lot more space there for that. Um, coming on down through here, things like interior features, appliances, laundry features, lots of new options there for you. Um, from there, I'm just going to kind of skip down kind of quickly because a lot of this is self-explanatory where it's just all of your options are combined together now. Um, you know, basement is another place where if you hit yes, it gives you more information about what you can enter in, into the basement. You'll see a lot of those throughout. Um, but I really want to get down here to uh, the bottom. So like, so like I mentioned before, your public remarks, which used to be called marketing remarks, is now up to 4,000 characters. You see it says 4,000 characters available in the field. Uh, private remarks used to be called agent remarks. Same deal. You have up to 4,000 characters. Um, office remarks. That's I, I had some questions about this because it's a little more obvious than where, where it was before. That's just remarks that only people in your office can see. So like if your brokerage has a specific um, numbering convention they use for forms or something, you can enter that here. Um, or just any kind of comments to other members just of your office that you want them to know. But what I want to show you is the way that um, items that used to be on other tabs are now all here on, on this same page. So rooms. You know, one, what we do with rooms is we have the kitchen, the living room, and the primary bedroom. And the part that's going to be required here is just the level. So you do have to enter the, is, is it lower, first, second, or third? 
um, for the kitchen, living room, and bedroom. And I think we're actually adding another couple options to that. Length and width are in here now, but they are not required. The reason why we're including those length and width fields, uh, of course you can enter that if you want to anytime, but if you use a product like a, uh, a Cubicasa or a Matterport or iGuide or one of those virtual tour platforms, um, you, we're actually going to have a way here and we're going to click a button and it's going to autofill the length and width of all the rooms in house for, in a house for you. So it'd be a really cool feature when that's ready sometime next year and we're just kind of preparing the system for that. Um, of course, if you have any other rooms to add, you can click this add room button. My face is kind of in the way, but it's down there in the, in the bottom right on the screen right now. Um, and you can add more rooms there. The broker distribution, uh, what used to be on its own tab, has now also been added onto the single page. And then, like I've mentioned before, your photos, um, floor plans, documents, or virtual and video tours are all now right here as well. Um, so once you're done with that, you click on publish listing, and then you're good to go. So the last thing I want to point out is this new, is this button for input form. So this is this isn't actually new. Um, this option was ava was available in the current system. It just wasn't very easy to find. But now you just click this one button. And it's going to actually generate the input form for us with the signature blocks down at the bottom for the listing agent and the and the and the seller. Um, and anything that you filled out on the listing is going to be automatically filled in for you. So, like looking right here, we didn't fill out a whole bunch on this listing, but you can see like the address is already filled in there. For example, um, so and so th this generates that uh, that listing entry form for you that you can now take to your seller. And then if we just scroll down here to the bottom, uh, we have the uh, place for them to sign off on that. So you have your seller signature and your listing agent signatures, and that's all available right there for you. Um, I'll say another integration we're working on is to actually have this sent directly to Dot Loop, uh, but we that's a work in progress that may or may not be done sometime next year. There's a lot of development going on there. Uh, so yeah, so that is it for the new ad listing module. Uh, again, you know, it's uh, it's it's completely mobile friendly. It's probably my favorite part. So you can actually add a listing from your cell phone now if you want to, uh, or if you want to carry around a tablet or something instead. That might also be easier than going back to your computer. Uh, so we're really enabling uh, you know the agent of the future here. You guys can, are able to do this where you're out on the road, um, in your car, uh, as you're standing in the house. You know. Um, so wherever you work from best, you're going to be able to now a lot better. Um, as always, you know, we're going to be putting out a lot of different training on this. Uh, we have the member and broker forums in August that you can attend. Uh, and then, you know, Lucy's classes that she does for us, where she does our Flex MLS training was going to have more information on this. And just as always, if you have questions of staff, reach out. We have the help at Bluegrass, Bluegrass Realtors, or you can give us a call anytime. Uh, so... One more time, open to feedback. Please let us know how we're doing. Reach out if you have any questions. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.